I uh, myself Pethin, I'm doing MTech in uh, Aerospace Propulsion Technology from uh, Vishweshwara Technological University. Uh, my topic today is uh, three dimensional viscous turbulent reactive flow analysis of a uh, gas turbine combustor. Uh, in an aircraft, gas turbine uh, is the critical component because it is used to power up the uh, aircraft, provide the thrust, and provide all the electrical requirements of the aircraft and it is usually you know, called as the power plant and uh, combustor it is also called as the heart of the gas turbine and my session objective says to provide the reactive flow analysis will be carried out on a three dimensional uh, uh, gas turbine combustor uh, provide the flow structure and its sustainability to design combustor system effect of variation of vane uh, uh, angle of the swirler on the emission level and to uh, study the effect of position of secondary holes. Uh, starting with, I'll introduce the, uh, how the gas turbine works. Uh, uh, usually, the gas turbines are usually called as air breathing engines because uh, the air from the atmosphere is directly uh, taken inside the gas turbine. It is initially taken through the diffuser, which is at the inlet, and it is compressed to a very high level. This high compressed air then passes to the uh, combustor. Here, the, uh, this takes place at the constant pressure uh, condition and uh, uh, the, the high this, uh, temperature hot gases will now pass to the uh, turbine. Uh, here, the hot gases get expanded and provide the thrust to the uh, uh, aircraft. Also, this uh, because of the uh, turbines, uh, the shaft rotates and it pro, uh, provides it or uh, makes the compressor to run and it also provides all the electrical requirements of the uh, aircraft. Uh, there are three types of combustor mainly used in the aircraft. One is the can type, can annular type and annular type. In the can type, uh, we have a uh, uh, individual liner as well as the annulus region where there is uh, directly injected into the combustor. Uh, in the can annular type, uh, we have the common casing uh, with the individual uh, liner regions uh, and uh, in the annular we have the common casing as well as the liner region uh, but can type uh, we, uh, each have its own merits and the demerits uh, can type uh, it is easy to maintain and it is uh, easy to uh, uh, build but uh, it is very bulky and it is not uh, suitable for uh, uh, the modern aircraft, it was used in the uh, initial uh, and it is used in the small uh, aircraft and the annular uh, it is very, it is having a low frontal area and it is used in the modern uh, uh, military aircraft and the uh, uh, tubo annular uh, it is, uh, it is uh, as the advantages of both annular and the can uh, type and it is uh, used in uh, uh, the uh, uh, passenger aircraft. Uh, this is the uh, uh, of uh, schematic diagram of a can type of combustor. Uh, it consists of a three regions. Uh, one is the primary zone, in the secondary zone, and the uh, uh, dilution zone. The main purpose of the primary zone is to ignite the flame and uh, uh, ignite the flame and provides the uh, 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 gas of very high temperature. But uh, in the primary zone, not all the gases are burned. Uh, uh, not all the fuels are burned. Sorry. Uh, because of uh, this, uh, uh, there is a wastage of the fuel and it generates the uh, intermediate combustion products like carbon monoxide. So, this has to be reduced because uh, carbon monoxide is hazardous uh, emission. Um, because of this, uh, we, uh, that, uh, uh, the air is directly inserted into the secondary holes where here uh, the temperature is reduced to the intermediate uh, level and uh, it helps in the combustion of the uh, intermediate combustion products like carbon monoxide. And, uh, uh, the hair also passes through the dilution holes. Here, uh, the main purpose of the dilution holes is because uh, the temperature uh, generated by the in the primary zone it is above uh, 1500 degrees centigrade. So, the the gas which passes through the uh, pass out of the combustor uh, is uh, may uh, 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 the turbine materials may not uh, sustain with this uh, temperature. So, it has to be reduced to an intermediate level. So, uh, to because of this uh, dilution hair are passed so that uh, the temperature is reduced. Uh, maintaining uh, with the uh, uh, turbine blade uh, which it can sustain. Uh, this is the model I uh, am uh, uh, taken in the project. Uh, it consists of a solar array at the inlet 
and the fuel injector and it consists of a, single, a secondary hose and a gas outlet. Uh, on the solar design, I have, uh, I have varied the uh, angles of the solar. I have initially taken the 30 degree as the base model. Uh, here uh, I have used a vane thickness of 1 mm and uh, number of vanes I have used as uh, 8. Uh, my method is in the pre processing, I have done my modeling using the Selam and Axis design model tool, meshing using the Axis mesh and the uh, 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 the solver, uh, the solver I have I used the CFX solver. In the post processing, I have used Axis CFX post. Uh, this is my the result of the uh, combustion model. Uh, uh, in this, uh, this the red part of the region is the primary zone, and the, in the uh, now the hair passes in the secondary hose. Here the temperature is reduced to the intermediate level, and uh, it is passed through the outlet. How the it flows? As the gas is passed here, and uh, it uh, provides a recirculation reason. Uh, because of the secondary uh, air coming from the secondary hose, it helps in the uh, efficient mixing of the uh, fuel and the air, uh, and it results in the complete combustion. Uh, in my uh, this I uh, have 30 degree vane angle, and the second case is the 45 and the 60 degree case angle. Uh, when I uh, when I uh, uh, solve this uh, uh, problem, uh, uh, we see that uh, uh, the high, um, higher temperature is provided by the 30 degree solar and the uh, lower temperature is provided by the 45 and the 60 and least is provided by the 60 degree model. model. But uh, as we see the efficiency, 30, uh, 30 degree provides a very high efficiency based on the temperature, uh, but uh, uh, the loss provided uh, uh, is directly proportional to the temperature. Hence, uh, 30 degree provided the highest emission and the 60 degree provides the lowest emission. Uh, when we see the carbon monoxide, uh, we see that uh, because of the low uh, recirculation region, uh, 30 degree was uh, solar provided uh, the highest combustion, uh, intermediate combustion product and uh, the 45 and the 60 degree provided the less combustion product. One minute. One minute. Okay. One minute. Uh, even the carbon monoxide, uh, uh, since uh, uh, the carbon monoxide uh, uh, is highest at the 30 degree. It is resulted to not complete combustion. This is resulted into uh, uh, less combustion. Uh, so, but in the 60 degree, uh, we, uh, 60 degree provided more uh, uh, complete combustion, and it provided more combustion uh, carbon dioxide, which is the natural product of the uh, combustion. Uh, even the intermediate combustion product, if you see, uh, the 30 degree provided uh, the more uh, uh, combustion uh, uh, product, and uh, 45 and the 60 provided the less. Uh, even if we see the uh, unburnt carbon uh, carbon mass fraction, uh, the 30 degree provided uh, more uh, uh, at the outlet, which means that the fuel is wasted. But the 45 and the 60 degree, we see that uh, almost every fuel is burnt and it results in complete combustion. Uh, in the second uh, section, I have varied the whole, uh, location of the secondary holes. Uh, 30 is in mm and uh, both upstream and downstream. Even if you see here. Uh, the temperature uh, as we moved upstream, the temperature uh, increased uh, at the, even uh, uh, at the downstream, it uh, slightly increased to a smaller level. If you see this carbon, we, we see that uh, the upstream product provided a higher temperature, but at the uh, uh, at the exit, we see that uh, uh, the 20 mm downstream provided less carbon. This is because uh, we, this is the primary zone. Because the 20, uh, 220 mm comes under the primary zone, this is on the secondary zone. We see in here that uh, uh, the 20, with the, the second row, which are located upstream, provided more uh, uh, carbon monoxide. Uh, this is also the natural product of the combustion. We see that uh, the if we uh, provide a large uh, recirculation region, a good combustion takes place. My conclusion is that uh, as the solar angle, uh, if we increase the solar angles, uh, uh, good combustion takes place and we can reduce the NOx emission. And even uh, uh, if we shift uh, the uh, optimize the secondary hole position, we can get a good uh, uh, emission. But we have to compromise uh, between the uh, efficiency as well as the emission. What boundary conditions you have considered? I take on uh, the velocity okay. and the, the temperature and the pressure. Temperature I have taken as uh, 300 degree in left temperature.
and pressure is 1 pascal and uh, inlet velocity the air velocity is the 10 meters per second and fuel mass I have taken the mass flow rate of uh, 0 0.001 uh, kg per second. How do you optimize the swirler angle at the end? Uh, sir, uh, you, we have we have a compromise between uh, the efficiency as well as the uh, swirler angle. If you if we expect more uh, efficiency, then we have to compromise uh, with uh, the emission. So okay. now 30 degree has the highest uh, efficiency because of based on the temperature, uh, and uh, 60 degree provided the uh, least temperature and uh, least efficiency, but it has a lower emission level. Now if we compromise that 45 degree provided uh, 45 degree provided. Uh, uh, it is a compromise between the uh, efficiency as well as the emission. How do you arrive at 45 degrees only? Why not 40? Why not 50? No, sir. I have taken uh, 45 and 60 degrees as my response. 